It is such an honor for me to be able to stand before you today. When we first started our years here at Aner High School, we had no idea that it would consist of so many ups and downs. We've had some great victories on our ball fields, but also suffered some great losses as some of our classmates are no longer with us. We spent weeks isolated in quarantine, but now we are here together. I would first like to thank our teachers for making their classrooms feel like second homes where we could learn both life lessons and in-class lessons. I would like to thank our parents and families for helping us to make it to this important day. And lastly, I would like to thank the school board, Mr. McCracken and administration for allowing this day to celebrate our graduation. Over the years, I've learned that God can make good things come out of bad situations, so we should take this opportunity to challenge ourselves. The virus is called COVID-19, so I've made an acronym for COVID. C is for compassionate. When the pandemic first hit, I realized how important it was to let those around me know how much I care about them and how much I love them. O is for optimistic. There are always going to be those people that make you feel inadequate and less than enough. But as Eleanor Roosevelt once stated, no one can make you feel inferior without your consent. V is for vigilant. May we always put our hands to the plow and do the work that we've been called to do to the very best of our abilities. I is for intentional. May we never take one more moment for granted, knowing that in just a second, everything could change. D is for determined. May we determine our hearts to finish the work we've started here at Inner High School. So now it is time to share some of our sweet memories that we've made over the years here at Inner High School. We've come a long way from believing that there was a third floor to becoming the people that told the underclassmen that their classes were on the third floor. We've worked on projects together, we've laughed together, we've cried together, and many of us have been together ever since we were in elementary school. We've spent late nights working on long papers and studying for exams because, well, procrastination set in. This year, we were region champs and we started singing the alma mater together at every home football game. We defeated Dillon High School this year, and now we have the opportunity to graduate on that same field where we accomplished that feat. We will always have bragging rights for the longest senior skip day because, well, Ron has stepped in. And we will always be remembered as the class that was quarantined during a pandemic. There are many things that we will never forget from our years at AHS, from decorating homecoming floats to decorating the hallways to being the class that won for two years in the homecoming float contest. We've each grown so much over our years from being freshmen who had no idea how we were gonna make it through the first week to sophomores who were just glad that we were no longer freshmen to juniors who were so excited about prom and our class rings to finally seniors who had the privilege of skipping the lunch line in our own senior parking lot. To my fellow classmates, even though our time here at AHS was cut short, we have many memories that we will cherish for the rest of our lives. As we move towards the future, I want you to remember what Mary Engelbrecht once stated, don't look back, you're not going that way. Because that's where we're at right now. When we graduate and move on to the next chapter of our lives, some will depart and go straight into the workforce, some will go straight to college, and some will go and defend our country. But may we always know that who holds our future and he has a plan for each and every one of our lives. May we change the world for the good and do the right thing even when no one is watching. May we have faith over fear and be overcomers. And may we always remember that once a blue jacket, always a blue jacket. In our high school class of 2020, we did it.